Good evening lovely friends. It is Saturday the 2nd of January and the first thing I want to do is wish you all a happy new year and I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Different as it all has been, I hope you still had a really lovely time and just it's so hard because I know that it's it, for a lot of people it might have been quite lonely and difficult because the world is just crazy at the moment. And I am one of the very lucky ones here in Queensland because we have a fairly normal existence at the moment. Yes, we're all still social distancing, but we can still go and get a cup of coffee and go shopping and go on holidays um, locally. And yeah, I just, I realize how lucky I am and I just really hope that everybody had the best possible Christmas and New Year that they could have had. And if you couldn't be with your loved ones, I hope you were able to speak with them and have some sort of merriment in your days because, wow, it's just, it's tough out there. It's tough out there, guys. And I have been thinking of all of my beautiful subscribers that live all around the world and just how different their Christmas and their New Year's would have been to ours. And even though we are kind of a bit of a homebody family and don't normally go out anyway, um, I was very conscious of the fact that if we wanted to, we could visit friends or we could have friends over and not everyone was lucky enough to be able to do that. So I just wanted to say a very heartfelt Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. I hope, I hope that it was as wonderful as it could have been. I have been doing quite a few crafty little things since I last spoke to you. I've been working on my knitting machine, which you just saw. Um, gee, I'm having fun with that. It's, um, that's a really cool little toy. I'll show you a few things that I've made. I've got them all behind me here. I um, <laughs> I started I started off with this little number, and it's uh, the tension's not great on it, but it's still cute on, believe it or not. So that was my first one. That was my first attempt. And then I just kept playing. So I made a little rainbow one and they're all reversible too. So you could wear them, you know, with it down if you've had a really big head or <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a bit of fun. I have enjoyed it. We've got some pom-pom ones and these ones fall on the floor. I tried to put a little label on that one. The only trouble was when we wore it, I wasn't sure if it pulled the stitches a bit too much. Because once you stick a head in there, but anyway, I'm, I'm experimenting. I would love to have them look good enough that I could maybe put them in my Etsy shop, which has sat there empty for so long. Look at that cute little one. This, this is my favorite color green. I love this green. It's my absolute, absolute favorite color in the whole world. Love it. And then this is the one that you just saw me making. So they're quite cute. Let's put it on. <laughs> I mean, seriously, when am I ever going to need a beanie? But how cute is it? And with um, a voucher that I got off my son for Christmas, I bought some faux fur. I'm gonna have a go at making some pom-poms for the top. So I might try to do that tomorrow. If I do it tomorrow, I'll, um, I'll switch on the camera and bring you with me. So I've had a lot of fun with that knitting machine. It does do other things as well. Um, you can actually switch it so that it can either do flat panels. So if you wanted to, you could make cardigans or you could make blankets and afghans and scarves and people even make mittens and things it's crazy so i'm i only just just trying the first few things 
I would like to have a go at doing a knitted blanket on it because that all just come together so quickly and I just think that would be really fun. Yeah, so I've enjoyed having a go at that. And then also I have done some more blocks on my Tilda quilt. I really, I would just love to finish that tomorrow. I, well, finish the flimsy anyway. That's going to be, I think that's going to be tomorrow's absolute aim is to get that one done because I need something new on my on my design wall I love looking at it but I want to I want to look at other things I've got projects it's the beginning of the year we need to get some projects done speaking of projects done I want to hit myself in the head with it I made a little project bag out of some scraps from another quilt that I had so just a sweet little bag it's only little so it's for a little project can you guess can you guess what little project it could be? If you follow me on Instagram, you already know. I have been making socks. Look, it's my first one ever. <gasps> my very first ever sock. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. It was definitely a sock of learning. One thing I've learned is I hate doing the toe last. And I'm not very good at Kitchener Stitch. That was really hard. So after I've done these socks, I think the next pattern that I try will be a toe up pattern and see how I go with that. But considering that I'm a brand newbie knitter, I'm still pretty proud of that. It fits, it fits my footsie. It looks good on the foot. It feels amazing. Hasn't fallen apart yet. Look, I can do all this and it's not falling apart. That's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a little bit proud of myself. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I will. <laughs> look, there's its, there's its other sock. That's what the other sock looks like right now. <laughs> but I'll, I'll um, cast it on tomorrow. I am doing it on a nine inch circular. So that's, that's even that has been a learning curve in itself, being able to do something on a little tiny knitting needle like that. I never thought I'd be able to, but it turns out I can. So that's something that I've done since I've seen you. So I've been, um, sitting down and just trying to organize my brain a little bit. It is tricky to do because like, trust me. So I've got, I, I had a quilted planner last year and fell in love with it. Even though I actually didn't really leave the house that much last year. Um, I really just enjoyed having it. It was, I mean, I love sewing, I love quilting. It was just so nice to have it every day. So, and these, they're just lovely, lovely, lovely books to have. It says in the front, courage does not always roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Oh, I like that. That's actually kind of my, my motto for 2021. Because this year is going to be a big year. Um, I am going to full-time work at school this year, where I was only doing four days last year. Uh, so that's a, going to be a big, a big extra chunk of my week. And I really want to keep up with my YouTube because I'm really, really loving it. It's, I'm finding it such a comfort. Is that the right word? I don't know. It's, it just helps me to relax. It helps me to do something creative and just, it's just like having a, a dear diary, I guess. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy it. So I want to make sure that I keep, keep going with my YouTube. Um, whether anybody <laughs> ends up watching it, because who knows, I can't promise it's going to be great. I can't, it's only little old me. Um, I'll have fun doing it though. 
we'll see how it turns out. Uh, I have got some projects that I want to share with you, but also just projects of my own that I'll be making and sharing what I'm making, I guess, with you. And gee whiz, I've got a lot of things I want to make. I just, I feel like I'm actually going to need to live till I'm 190 to be able to even get close to doing everything I want to do. I wonder if that'll be possible. <laughs> so you might want to see what a quilter's planner looks like if you've never seen one. So a lovely friend of mine organizes these for us and a few others each year. She is incredible. Um, they come from America, obviously, not from Australia. They have to be ordered, but the beauty of these is you actually order them and they're made to suit you. Like down to, you actually get to pick what day of the week. Where can I show you a page? Let's show you a page. Like I want to have my day start on a Monday so that my weekends are at one side. I like how it goes across this way and not in columns but you can actually choose your own layout of these, which is like really cool, really cool. I like the fact that they all have very easy access tabs to each of the months. I like that there's a glance page at the start of each month that you can write in. And then if we keep going, so there's December, and then it actually has a tab here for patterns and inside it's got some different patterns that you can make throughout the year. How cool is that? And then it's got a section where you actually write in your own projects that you're working on. And then it's got a little section here. Let's have a look, see if you can see. A little section here where you can Add all your information and where, where you're up to in the making process, which is really cool. And yeah, and then in the back, it's got, like, it's got this, look at this, grid pages and like, there's a hexagon page. I'm sure I saw a hexagon page somewhere. But then it's also got, like, all of your reference things here. And it's got all your conversion tables here. So um, just your metric conversion tables, yardage to decimals and inches, inches to millimeters and centimeters, that sort of thing. Half square triangle tips and pointers, color wheel stuff. Like it's just, it's a really cool diary. I really enjoyed it last year and I'm really happy that I've got another one this year. Oh, I just knocked you, sorry. So I've been working on that and working on projects that I want to do. I'm not ready to share them with you yet because I need to, <laughs> I need to like cull them because <laughs> I, I basically want to just do everything and I, I know I can't do everything. I know that I want to do quite a few quilts. Um, I really need to sew my stash. I want to branch out and do some bags this year. I didn't do a lot of bags last year. In particular, I think the first one I'm going to do is the Amethyst Project Bag by So Sweetness. Um, I'm going away in February on retreat. So I think that will be when I make that bag because there's some other girls going that I think are keen to make it too. So and <laughs> I even bought, look, I bought myself some big hexies today because I thought, oh, I'd like to make a big hexi quilt. I've got to stop doing this. I just, I want to make too many things. But yeah, that's what, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's just making stuff, making lots and lots of stuff. Oh, something else I want to show you is a new book that I got for Christmas and it's called... The Dressmaker's Secret by Rosalie Ham. And if you, have you ever seen The Dressmaker? Look, there's a little thing from the, anyway, that's from the movie. The book is amazing, the first book, which is called The Dressmaker. The movie is amazing. And this is kind of like the part two. 
So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into that. I'm, I just quickly started it this afternoon, but I only got three pages in and it was just too noisy in the house. So I couldn't keep going, but I'm just really looking forward to getting stuck into that one. But I think I'm going to leave it now for tonight because it's just after 11 and I think that means it's bedtime. So tomorrow I will see you again and we are going to do some sewing. We are going to work on the tilde quilt, I think. Let's try to get that flimsy finished tomorrow. That's going to be tomorrow's goal. I really, really want to be able to do as much as I can every day. Just embrace every day, make something every day. I think because I am going to be working so much more this year, I think it's gonna be really important to take that time out for myself. It will, I know for a fact that having time for myself doing this sort of thing definitely makes me a better mother because it gives me my downtime um, and just refreshes me so that I'm able to give back again. And I think that's really important. It's just, you've got to have that balance. And this year being so different for me is going to be a bit tricky, I think, to find that balance. I'll get there um, and I'll just have to try not to take too much on because I've got to have the balance. It's all about the balance. But anyway, I'm rambling now because I'm tired. So bedtime. I will see you in the morning. Good night. Sunday night friends we're here at Sunday night tomorrow is a work day but I think I got enough sewing in to just make sure I had a really good day today I have got nothing on my design wall because I've joined up all of the blocks that I've made but I haven't put borders on yet because I've decided that I want to make it bigger. Um, just because, you know what, a lot of work has gone into this. And so I want it to be on a bed and not a throw size. It was originally just going to be a throw size, but I'm going to make it big enough for a bed. So I'll make a few more blocks. I've got, I reckon I've got enough fabric um, to make a few more blocks. I will probably have to buy more border fabric if I want to use the 
original fabrics that I was going to use for the borders. But oh well, if I have to, I have to. I am just tidying up now. I've just finished editing. Blah, I can't even talk. I've just finished editing the videos that I've done so far this weekend. And I'm going to add this one to it and go to bed because I'm working tomorrow. I also am going to go see my mum. I'm also going to go see the president of my guild because I've got, I don't know if you saw when I was sewing, but right next to me here, let me show you. I've got this massive big pile of quilts here. They are all finished quilts that uh, that I need to take to the president. I didn't make all of them. I've just put the labels on, just doing my bit, you know? So I've added a couple of my own charity quilts to the pile, put labels on all of them, and I'll take them to the president tomorrow, who I love. She's amazing. Um, because she takes them all to her place and looks after them all until we have our handover. So we, a couple of times a year, have the Salvation Army come to the guild and we do a handover of all of the charity quilts that we've made and they go to uh, women's shelters. Yeah, so that, you know, and there's lots of kids ones in that lot actually for children because children need help too. So that's that's that little pile, that's a job for tomorrow. And so now I have a blank wall behind me. I think I'm going to do a charity quilt first just because sometimes when you can't pick what you want to work on, you just need to get some charity sewing out of your system and it just re-inspires your creative juices again. So I'm going to get some charity quilts done, I think, and that will get me going again. But I'm going to leave it there for today. I have got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. I will, um, I think, continue filming little bits here and there and I will post every Sunday with just my usual drivel and then that way it frees me up for if I need to do extra videos I can do them during the week so um, if I do any tutorials or if I do any pattern reviews or book flips or anything like that I can do them during the week and just have my general sewing room social on a Sunday oh I like that Oh, and I clever. So Sunday sewing room social. That's what we're going to do on Sundays, I think. And I will just have a chat with you all on Sundays. And then I will try to do bits and pieces here and there during the week. Maybe not every week. Maybe it will just be a social some weeks. But that's. I think that's going to be my plan of attack to um, ease into the new year. So I will see you all definitely next Sunday with hopefully some more fun things to show you that I've been working on. Have a really lovely week and I will see you again then. Bye.